Hey, last week on the devotional, we asked, who is Jesus? And we're asking that same question today. One, the Bible has a lot to say on it. And two, it's a question that we all have to answer. Coming up. Hello and welcome back to the One Verse Daily Devotional. My name is Matt. So glad that you're with me here today. And it's a short one verse today and kind of a short episode, but it's just kind of some foundational truth that I want us to lay for, because one, we're going to kind of do a two verse, one, two punch today and tomorrow. And so we're going to lay the groundwork today. And and really this groundwork is foundational for our life. It's critical. So don't skip this step. Okay. And then tomorrow we're going to dive in even deeper to see what it means for our life. So stay with me today as we look at Colossians chapter two, verse nine, then tomorrow we'll look at Colossians two, 10 and see how these verses work together. And and man, they mean so much for our lives. But today, Colossians 2, 9, foundational verse for our faith. And it says, for in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. A short verse, but what does that mean? For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. That in Christ, in Jesus, that God is in bodily form. Okay, Matt, we get that. We're Christians. We understand what you're saying, but but what's the big deal? Well, here's the big deal. See, for thousands of years, God just seemed like this unattainable whatever in the sky, right? How do we connect with God? We even feel that way today. We can't see him. We can't touch him. You know, sometimes we might be able to hear him a little bit as he speaks into our life, but it's hard to connect with God. And yet through Jesus, we have all the fullness of God, everything that God is available in human form someone that we can connect with, someone who we can read about. We can see his life, connect to his stories, see his amazing miracles, and yet uh, how he went hungry, how he wept, how he cared for others, how he was beaten and abused, right? We can find all these things. We can connect with Jesus on a personal level. Why? Because all that God is, is available in Jesus in human form. That's the beauty of the Christian faith, that God doesn't have to be this ethereal, you know, thing in the sky, this, you know, spirit, as important as the Holy Spirit is, he's not just a spirit. He came to earth and lived among us, and we can read about his life and his story. I don't know if you get that. I don't know if you're tracking with this, but man, that means so much to me. I love God. I love following God, but sometimes it can be hard to connect with someone that like, I have no idea like where he is or he's everywhere. And, and what do I do? Right. But when we can connect with the person of Jesus, it makes it so much more real. And we know that Jesus just wasn't part God. He was all God. He was the fullness of the deity. He was the fullness of almighty God. He was the fullness of Yahweh in human form, someone that we can connect to, and most importantly, someone that we can build a relationship with. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into a little bit more about what this means for our life, but I just want you to start to grasp that concept right now and really how how wonderful and beautiful and powerful that this is, that God just doesn't have to be something ethereal that we can't quite wrap our minds around. No, no, no. We can focus on Jesus because all the fullness of God can be found in the person of Jesus. And he's dying to have a relationship with you. Have a great day.